Hey YouTube, it's Amic Zero with another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple reflection, and as our example, we're going to use an Xbox controller. Okay, so let's get started. I grab this Xbox controller off the internet. I'm going to delete the white background behind it. Uh, I have a tolerance of 20, and that worked fine. So I'm going to press delete. There we go. I'm going to create a new layer below it just to give us a background to work with. I'll uh, grab our paint bucket and press X to reset the colors and we get our white background. Okay, so we're gonna take this controller and make it look as if it was kind of on a glass surface to give it that uh, reflection. So I'm going to duplicate the layer by dragging it onto this kind of like an icon with a piece of paper on it um, and we get our second copy. Go up to edit, transform, and flip vertical. And what we're gonna do is grab our um, arrow tool, click, hold shift and drag down. Now what shift does will let us move in one direction at a time so if I move left and right nothing happens. So I'm going to move it down, use my arrow keys to go up just a tiny bit. Okay, let's shut off our first controller so that we can see what we're working with by clicking the little eye arrow. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a clipping mask with a gradient so that we can uh, fade the controller out. And uh, I'll explain what a clipping mask is as we do it. So let's create a new layer grab our selection tool, or uh, rectangular selection tool, and create a selection just like that. And I'm going to move this down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to press D to switch colors, now I have black on top. And I'm going to hold down the paint can to get to our gradient tool. And in here, you will see a black to white, and this is the one we want, a black to transparent gradient. Press OK. Click, Shift, drag down. I'm going to go right about here. Do that a few times because we're trying to get the top half to be uh, really dark. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, now what I need you to do is press the control key or on a Mac uh, command and click on the upside down controller. What that does is selects the controller and what we're going to do is press control or command shift I and that will invert the selection and you can press delete. So now we have this black gradient only on our controller on a separate layer. Now what a clipping mask does is allows us to set the top object to only appear from what shows in the object below it. That might be a little confusing but basically where this is solid here is the only part you will, you will be able to see on top. So since we have a gradient it will be partially solid in the areas down here and uh, we won't be able to see anything other than in the gradient. So what I'm going to do is now that we have our control on top, right click, create clipping mask, and we get this faded, and we can put back on our other one, and there you go. Now what you can do is, because this obviously didn't come out so great, is uh, try it again with a lesser gradient. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Get rid of this. Create a new layer. Move it on top. Make a new selection, and let's try this. We probably had too dark of a black the first time. Let's try it with just one gradient. That might actually be enough. Do what we did again. Control, Control Shift I, delete. Move the controller on top, and create clipping mask. That is much better. Still not perfect, but you get the idea. Um, that's all you need to do to create a reflection. I've also gone over clipping masks. Um, very easy stuff. Have fun.